what was that noise up above? Huh? Another tree cut down, I suppose. They're working hard up there these days. What are they building, Grandpa? Lots of tree houses? In a way, dear, they're going to build nests for the local birds. Remember the big storm we had last week? You mean that awful one that lasted two days? Yes, it was so violent it destroyed the nests of our friends the birds, so we're building new ones for them made of wood. That's not yours. Hmm. Give me back my ball of wool. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, do you like what I'm knitting? Hmm? Yes, it's very pretty, but who's it for? It's for Grandma Lisa. I'm sure she'll love it. After that, I'll make you a scarf. Good. I need one for the winter. Oh? Oh! Grandpa, where are you going in such a hurry? I want to show you what those noises are all about. Oh, oh just you and me together? Yes, That's come great. along. <laughs> Watch where you're going. You don't want to get that new dress of yours all dirty. Oh, isn't the sunshine wonderful? Hey, hello. Where's your mother gone? Hmm. Hmm. Their mother is looking after them all right, but why aren't they up in a tree? You weren't listening, Susan. I told you last week's storm knocked down a lot of birds' nests and damaged them. Let's see what's happening over here. La, 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 la. Look, Grandpa, they're chopping down trees. That's what I wanted to show you. Good morning, fellas. How's it going? Good morning. Timber! Stand clear! Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Susan, David, it's all clear now. Sorry to give you such a scare. We weren't expecting you. <laughs> it's our fault for showing up at the wrong moment. We weren't paying attention. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, David. Hello there, Susan. Good morning. Good morning. Have you come to lend us a hand? Morning. How are you, Susan? Greetings. Good morning. Good morning. Chopping down trees is very dangerous. First, you listen for the warning signal, and then the all clear signal. See? It's all clear now, and everybody's at work. <laughs> With so many of them working, they must be able to do a lot in a short time. Yes, and when they finish here, the logs are taken to the sawmill to be cut up into boards oh. that we can build things with. Want to see yeah, it? Yeah, let's huh? go. How would you like to have a ride on that log? Yes, could I, Grandpa? <laughs> That's the sawmill over there. The first job is to saw the logs into blocks they can handle, and then into boards. After that, the boards are planed down until they're perfectly smooth. Then the boards can be joined together, and we can build anything we want. And here we have one of the finished birdhouses. These are much safer in a storm than those open nests are. The important thing in construction is teamwork. Oh, that's what I'd like to do when I grow up. Good for you. Huh? Are you all right, Luther? <coughs> huh? 
That was quite a bump you got. Yes, but that was nothing. My hat protects me. <laughs> you be careful. I'm going to go have a talk with Carlo, and you can visit with his son, Tom. What's the matter, Alex? You're looking so sad. Oh, they won't let me work in the sawmill. They say I'm too young and I don't understand their rhythm. I know I'm only 82 years old, but my rhythm is just as good as theirs. That's too bad, Alex, but you'll understand when you're older. Well, I'm a good carpenter right now. I'll show them. Huh? Uh-oh. Sorry for young Alex, don't you? Hmm. Carlo and Tom, how are you? Hello, David. Uh -uh. Good to see you. Oh. You know, you're just the man I was looking for, David. I need your advice. What's it about, Carlo? Here. Um, uh, read this letter. Dear Mr. Come Carlo, on. we are pleased to inform you that you have just been appointed oh. the royal emissary in charge of Christmas seals. I'm sure Swift will take us for a ride if I ask him nicely. But we shouldn't go without asking your grandfather's permission first. We'll be back so soon he won't even know we went. Oh, I'd like to, but I don't think it's right. Don't be such a scaredy cat, Tom. You'll like riding on Swift. It'll be all right. Trust me. Oh, okay. <laughs> From His Majesty the King. Why, like Carlo, that sounds like a good opportunity. Here's your big chance. I'd jump at it if I were you. In my younger days, I always dreamt of a career in politics, but now that I'm getting on, well, I think I'd rather just stay here and work as a carpenter in the sawmill. But wait, what's become of Tom? Susan's gone, too. They've probably just gone for a little walk in the forest. You know how young people are. That way. <laughs> Swift! Swift! Hello, Swift. <laughs> We've come to ask you to take us for a ride in the forest. I've never ridden on a fox in my whole entire life. I was telling Tom how fast you are. <laughs> Well, you're not going to set any new speed records at this rate, Swift. <laughs> I told Tom you were the fastest fox in the whole world, and you turn out to be the slowest. Slow as molasses in January. I just saw a turtle go whizzing past us. That's the stuff, Swift. Show Tom what you can do. be fun. Swift, would you take us to the old forest where all the big trees are? When we get there, I'll show you an oak tree that's over a thousand years old. Susan! Tom! Tom! Oh, Susan! Tom! Susan! Oh, I don't like this, David. Tom never goes off like this. Come on. We'll go ask the boys in the sawmill. Have you seen Susan and Tom? Uh, have the children been around here? No. No, well, they've got to. Have Susan and Tom been around here? No. Uh -uh. No. They've just disappeared.
Tom, please answer me. Oh, no, he doesn't answer. Oh, I hope he has to Oh, dear. Susan, oh. look up! Up here, Susan! My goodness, he landed in a bird's nest. Tom! Tom! Oh, are you all right? Yes, I'm oh. fine. How about you? Did you get hurt? Any scratches? Nothing at all. I landed in a nice soft place. You were lucky, Tom. But hey, what happened to Swift? Oh, let's look back there. Oh, 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 oh Swift! Oh. oh, Swift's leg is caught in a trap. Oh, poor Swift! Does it hurt much? Oh, oh Swift, it's all my fault. Hang in there, Swift. Be brave. We'll go and get help. Nothing? Nothing! Susan! Tom! Susan! Susan! Tom! Nothing. They're nowhere to be found. And Swift is missing, too. That must mean Swift is with them. Yes, I hope so. He'll at least protect them from any harm. We've got to find them before it gets dark. Let's keep on looking. I'll whistle. They'll hear it if they're not too far away. Did you crash? There's a young boy in the river? Please, Mrs. Eagle, would you take us there? That's very kind of you. Come on, Carlo. We're going to ride on an eagle. Uh, I've never been up in one of these things before. Oh, hey, wait for me! Uh,
That river is dangerous. There's a very big waterfall in it. I don't see him yet. And we're getting very close to the falls. Help me! Help! It's tough. Swoop down low. We'll see what we can do. Rock is very small. You're right. It's too small to land on it. Go down and find a stick. Father, help me! Grab the stick and hold on tight. <laughs> Oh, my son. Uh, are you all right? Yes, and so is Susan. Oh, but poor Swift got caught in a trap. It's terrible. Tom, don't worry. Mrs. Eagle will take us to them. Up there, we'll have a bird's eye view, and we should be able to find them easily. Look, Ooh. there they are. trap off his leg. I know, dear. We'll get right to work. Come on. <sighs> I don't think the bone is broken, but I'm afraid it's a very deep wound. Oh, oh, Grandpa, it's all my fault. This is no time to worry about whose fault it is. We've got to look after Swift. We'll get you out of there soon, old friend. <laughs> but we're going to need help to open that trap. from afar. Oh, a motor car. <laughs> hey, I hear a whistle. Come on, hurry it up, Henry. Somebody's calling for help. is caught in a trap, and we need your help. Thank you for coming so fast. You can count on us. You say your horse is coming in last? I said thank you for coming so fast. Swift's got his leg caught in a trap. Hey, look, there's a fox over there with his leg in a trap. Henry, you're deaf as a post today. What happened? Oh, it's just that he caught a bad cold and it went to his ears. Blake, he's been lonesome for years. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? I'll tell you later, Henry. Oh. <laughs> now listen, Henry. We called you to come and help us get Swift out of that trap. Why didn't you say so? Come on. No. Come on, everybody heave together. One more little push and we'll have it open. Put your backs into it, friends. We're getting there. It's a very deep wound, but it'll heal quickly. And the bone isn't broken. Oh. 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 
This medicine of mine will make it heal faster. And I'll put a bandage on it to keep out infection. Finished. In a couple of days, I'll take the bandage off. Now then, try to get up, Swift. You can do it. Up on your feet now, a boy. Come on, Swift. Show us you can do it. You'll be all right once you're up. Oh, come on, Swift. You can do it, a boy, Swift. Come on. You can do it. Oh, come on, Swift. Be brave. You did it! You saved Swift from that awful trap! But it wasn't just me, Susan. We all had a hand in saving him. But now tell me, Swift, do you think you're strong enough to carry us back home? No, I think you'd better not. We'll ask Mrs. Eagle to take us back. You can take it slow and easy on the way home. Goodbye! Bye! Bye! Bye. Bye. Thanks again, my helpful friends. A fond goodbye and a friendly wish. I understand, but where should I send the fish? You take care of that cold, Henry. Goodbye. Goodbye. And schnitz bye. 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 Goodbye now. A cat may be small to us, but next time you'll see it's big trouble for Lisa. When a woodcutter helps her, David uses no magic to grant the woodcutter three wishes. Will the woodcutter be happy when he wishes for gold? Or does the magic have a different effect on humans? Can David help the woodcutter make wise choices? What would you do with three wishes? Think about it. Till next time. <laughs>